Governor Gavin Newsom said San Diego County could come off the state's monitoring list as soon as tomorrow. And it comes as our county reported a case rate of fewer than 100 positive COVID-19 tests per 100,000 people for the sixth straight day today. Uh, so we've said this in the past. You've seen this in the past. This is a dynamic list. People come on, people come off. The numbers shift every single week. And I anticipate this week the numbers to shift again. It looks like all things being equal uh, and the latest reporting period, 24 hour reporting period, uh, which we uh, will have later this evening. It's very likely San Diego will join the list of that of those counties removed. So likely tomorrow, though we'll update this, likely tomorrow that you see uh, San Diego on that list. And previously, the state had said if the rate stays below 100 per 100,000 people for at least three consecutive days, the county would officially be removed from that list. And San Diego County leaders responded to Newsom's announcement today. Supervisor Nathan Fletcher stressed the importance of keeping up safety protocols, even if the county is taken off the list, and also gave an update on the impact it would have on schools. We do expect probably tomorrow uh, we will officially come off the state monitoring list, which is encouraging, but it is a moment for to remind ourselves that the goal uh, is not just to get below the list. The goal is to stay below the list, uh, which means that as soon as we come off the monitoring list, we have to have the same vigilance, the same focus and the same effort uh, to continue to keep our case count low. But for now, if we come off the state monitoring list, the only substantive impact would be on schools. Once we are off, if we remain off for 14 consecutive days, uh, then all schools K through 12 would be able to open uh, at their own discretion uh, based on filling out and complying with the safe guidance reopening plans that have been provided. And the county reported 282 new cases today, pushing our total close to about 35,000. About 6,300 tests were given, so 4% of the tests were positive. There were no new deaths reported, and right now about 270 people are being hospitalized across the county, including 97 in the ICU for COVID-19.